pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Hi, Felix. Hi. Welcome to my desk. Enjoy your stay. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much, much like Lake Verity. There are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. Can you stop? This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, or that is what legends would have us believe. One time. Sorry, my cat's tail. <laughs> Felix, you're so rude. Okay, just prove there's none. Yep. In we go. Yes. I imagine strong Pokemon can wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of Lake. Take care. Sure. Let's see what we're up against. What the hell is that? Is that just a quillfish? I forgot this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they are venomous. Okay, so is that, like... An evolution of it. Fishimi Overquill. Okay. Okay, so it's not it's not poison water. I can't see my screen, so that's why I couldn't see that it, that it had no effect because my cat's right here. Hopefully the grass will um kind of cancel out the water, but I know that's not how it's gonna work because I had to do this, fight this Torterra. <laughs> hey, killed it though. That's my Haley. Aww. You feel a mysterious presence. Good. Show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh no. Do I have to do a whole thing? Yeah, this is a problem. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. Seems you had best give up. We continue regardless. I'm gonna keep trying. Give up. You struggle in vain, yet you'll press on. Yeah, this is clearly the trial. <laughs> Good. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. We've got two of three. Azelf's Fang. Bye, Azelf. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Just one more to go. Cool. Let's do it. I assume all went well? It did. Still, I must wonder, why is my cat blocking my screen so I can't read the dialogue? Um, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Well, probably to, like, prove things. Uh, I guess I can think of two reasons. To keep the chain safe and to test us. Perhaps you're right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all. Well, we know. <laughs> Though having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. Maybe. You could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we return to Miss Kogita's home? Yes, please. Wonderful. Then we can see if Mistress Kogita has any more insights to share with us. So that Azelf's Fang, I sense a warmth to it. The Pokémon of these lakes are strange. They seem to, be, to play on your mind somehow. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things at Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokémon a Pokemon has been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Komodo has raised a force 
Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it. There's no time to lose! We've got one material left to find the red chain. Let's get to it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold too. <laughs> Thanks, Volo. <laughs> Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what is needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Let's go! Hi, you're so cute! This is what an Alolan Vulpix looks like. They blend right into the snow with their white fur, so just to try to find them all by myself would take ages, and I'm still missing five of them. You should be able to find my Vulpix playing around the avalanche slopes. Okay, well, I'll probably do that later. Oh, nice! Okay, so this is where the other base camp can be set up. Do me a favor, would you find Craig for me? Eventually. Not right now. <laughs> yep. Hello! Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it contains... It actually contains seawater as well. Uh, nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. That is neat. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Uxi. I'm assuming is how you pronounce that. When Uxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's mind. That's the story say, anyway. Ooh. I love that they're both surprised by it every single time. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go! Yes, yes. I imagine there may be a Pokemon in there protecting the late guardian. Take care. Yes, sir. Now let's see what was waiting for us. I fear... I know you don't need me to tell you this, but I've still got to say it. Be careful around that thing. No kidding! Um, I don't even know what to use against you. Hi. How wow. Ow. Should I try to catch it? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wish the leaden balls would help outside of... Because the lemon balls are mainly for like. Yay, we got it! Um, the lemon balls only help if they haven't seen you yet. Regular ball. <laughs> Maybe that would have had to be my next strategy. <laughs> yeah, you could do it, Haley. Thank you. I didn't. Feel mysterious presence. Hello! Tiny little cutie. Sounds like my cat's getting into something. I will test your knowledge. Uh-oh. Bombi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me one by one, yet all at once. Can you repeat that? Uh-oh. Well, Dusclops has one. Magneton has three, right? I like that it says enter your answer as a series of numbers. In case you were dumb like me and we're, we're about to start adding them up. There's an itch on my head, but it's at the thickest part of my wig. Ich. You've obtained Uxie's Claw. That's it, you've completed the trials of the Three Lakes. I have. Hi. It seems we finished the Three Lake Trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to head for the Shrouded Ruins. Yep. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. As you have told us. <laughs> the Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Oh, Kokita's here! Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. Oh. Uh, we speak of a divine instrument once said to be capable of binding the very world. You really think it could be forged by mortal hands? 
Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Hello? Oh, hi! It's the little buddies! The Pokemon of the lakes. I have it! You received the red chain. So it was true, the pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again! I have! Yet things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Cornet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant's rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't know yet that our Haley has managed to get the red chain, now does he? That's right, we've got to let him know that it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason then and call off his foolhardy plan of his. I, I kind of doubt that. Huh? Hi! I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. No, you didn't. I'll let the captain and the professor know you're back. Hello. I know you've been worried, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Don't mock your elders, if you please. <laughs> and besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You didn't have to tell her that. <laughs> just ignore him. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. Uh, we're to join her in the survey core office. It seems her hands are more than full now that commodo has gone. He's gone! Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. Or the survey corps? I don't know. I clicked too fast. He's determined to handle this whole space-time business rift himself. Oh, space-time rift business himself. Uh, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the security corps folk. Well, we aren't getting anywhere. Let's get inside and report to the captain. Hi. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Um, I mean, it's, you're cool. I like Adam and more, though. <laughs> no doubt your own past deeds are new. Any help you may have received. Uh, before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. <laughs> I've got this red chain. Go on. I'm explaining about the red chain. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Komodo is no longer here in Jubilife Village. The security corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Haley's help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated at your former rake. Thank you. <laughs> are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Hell yeah! Fuck that guy! Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally. No one suggested you should not. <laughs> there you are. Irida's already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? Not great. Yeah, the commander's already at Mount Coronet. He's already started up the mountain? He must be more re reckless than a dignified manner than his, than that, whatever. You know, he's more reckless than he seems. <laughs> not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, all right then. Guess I'm going after him. Well, we could all go. Okay. If you were to show up with a warning, there'd probably be a fight. I mean, there's gonna be anyway, but time's a-wasting. See you there. Okay, bye! <laughs> Who's the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you're still trying to find a way to help us all? Yeah? That's right. Haley worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right, and a fine job she did, too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work 
for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Here, take this. Thanks. Whatever it is. Max Revive. Ah, oh, thank you. So nice. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. Three, return here alive. Yeah! I'll do my damnedest. We might actually finish the, the main quest today, it seems like. Oh, Melly's here. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? Yep. I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for your time is- Oh my god, this is bad. Everyone's giving me healing items. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Yep. Both Adaman and Irida have headed to the peak as well. Uh, my good friend Haley, I wish you the great fortune in the battles to come. Uh, I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. Things certainly have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, yeah, we'll be here for moral support. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Hi. This is the stone portal. I've been told to not let anyone pass, but really, I'm not sure what the point is any longer. I think you could go and ask for me. <laughs> sure. Spooky. Oh, hi. Oh, there's a thing on the wall. Oh, it's Benny! Yeah! Old lettuce lip. Oh, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shut the wallflower. I'd much rather be here, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But task mas that taskmaster kamado has gone and left me to oversee our fool's food supply. He always finds a way to put these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. Are you serious? I didn't mean to click that fast, but I did. I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the greedy deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or stripe. His dream is now mine too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. Uh, when I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound at last, at last? One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques. Okay. Okay, I was like, are you are you gonna try to kick my ass, or are we actually Pokemon battling? Well, I guess it was good that Crobat was in front of my team. I am at a bit of a disadvantage levels-wise. My brain's just trying to kick, take all of this in all at once, and it's struggling. Yeah. Okay, come on, Espeon, you got this. Okay. Phew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep a after a target they know they can't beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after fashion. Well, unfortunately, it is not reciprocated. At least for the skill you show in battle. Uh, but listen well, Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Yes, we agree on this. But those aren't mutually exclusive, exclusive things. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty, plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try and build a home where people could live free from fear. That's not how it works, though. You can't just live free from fear, and you can't just displace wildlife and act like they're the... The problem when you move into their home <laughs> but to achieve something truly great you sometimes have to take extreme actions if hypothetical as it may be a pokemon were to appear from within the space-time rift kamado might lose hold of his reason save kamado from himself by force if you must i mean i don't really care about kamado at all do that and i'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle okay that just healed my pokemon hello you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon is apparently... That's apparently been sighted through the rift. I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. Alrighty. 
Here we go. This is the... Are you wearing a suit of armor? You again. Yes, it's me. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Of course. Do you think even the red chain is some trick on Haley's part? She worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know. I was with her the whole time. I saw her rise to the trial set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If she somehow concocted that all on her own, then what hope do we have anyway? Perhaps you're right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this girl and that faith were betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Well, you could just die. Uh, then work together with us. Something, some, oh, should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine, enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face with your Pokemon, Haley. Today we will battle in earnest. I knew it. I knew this was how it was gonna be. Fuck this guy. I'm a little nervous because my Pokemon are underleveled. Okay, but at least he isn't being a dick about it. Like, I feel like this is more like I want to see with my own eyes what you can do. I don't care. I don't like him. <laughs> I don't care how he means it, I just don't like him. <laughs> He's played it off this whole time as like, oh, there are some people that don't trust you. It's been him the whole time. Not to discount your point of view because I think you're right. The thing is, I just don't care. <laughs> I just still don't like him. I don't care how he means it. <laughs> he really said no redemption arcs on my stream. <laughs> some people don't deserve redemption arcs and I mean, there are plenty of arguments to be made that he deserves a redemption arc, but I just don't care. I'm holding a grudge. <laughs> and that's that. Um, wow, this dude is really not weak to anything. Oh my god. I... I... Okay. It did this in Shining Pearl? No. Sword and Shield. Where, um, the, uh, rival has a, has a Snorlax. They are just a wall. They're just a... They're, it's so... It dragon. It is annoying to me. They're like, oh, if wouldn't it be funny if you just had to beat your head against a brick wall for a couple turns before allowing the, the battle to proceed? Okay, now you, you just gotta land this hit. That's all you gotta do. Okay. For you. <laughs> All done. Any Pokemon that threatens our life out here must be eliminated. But why? Why should you deserve to live over the Pokemon? You're truly a force to be reckoned with. Yes. I am. Now die. The fates have decided I can see it and I apologize sincerely for troubling you. We're doubting you. Now I have to forgive him. Damn it. All right. Okay, fine. I know I have no right to ask of you any longer, but please, that strength of, use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. All right. Don't worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. But, like, make... Fine. You're forgiven. Redemption arcs are allowed. Having to go it Make me feel guilty. It's all the nobles and stuff. Oh. Well, that's cool. Oh, that's the electrode. That does not look like electrode. I wonder just what's happening on the other time side of the space time rift. You can do this. I believe in you. The moment has come. Yes, it has. Something's talking inside my head. You told the red train. Try to catch me then, human. Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. It's telling me you hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human, for the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls. Cool. I forget auto saves. It's such a new concept.
Hi! <laughs> Hello! Twenty years without it was ingrained in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> um Hi <laughs> He did break it Hi How Danger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you like do, do you like ultra balls? Maybe it's really cozy. And it has cool colors, like yellow complements blue really well. We got him! <laughs> First toss! <laughs> I mean, my poor Pokemon, but... <laughs> she caught it. The red chain is shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the Lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You're truly the pride of the survey for. It's all because she had me show her the ropes. Yeah, that's definitely what it was. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga is speaking to me in my mind. From in with inside the Pokeball? Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzy one frenzied one comes to fight. Now human, fight with me. Telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Haley could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one just now. Well, but I have that strong one. Now. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Hi! Hello! Welcome! Thank you for joining us! I'm- I'm in danger! Is Palkia gonna kick my ass next? Gag yag gag gag gya! <laughs> All of you, we must vacate this- Yeah, forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on, we gotta make back to Summit Camp while we can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce! You won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on the mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Okay. Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to serve- Whoops. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it. Did you notice the energy power out pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I mean, no. I can't believe there really are two Almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans were really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To both of you, as fellow leaders, you saw the truth I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Haley. And to you, Haley, yes. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Fasui. Yeah. That's me. That's what I did. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. Well, no. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us rather than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude, indeed. 
Uh, yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. Look at this guy putting out all his wrongs so you don't have to, exactly. <laughs> Dang it, now I have no ammo. <laughs> it seems that having Haley about has been a good fluence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no chance of getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it. How is she to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I've got a plan, thanks to what mighty Dialga told me. Dialga, the Pokemon that spoke to you. Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we need. Uh, the Stone of Creation's Being, the Chain of Red, the Vessel of Mankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the Red Chain we have, at least. The pieces, anyway. I did collect them. How? When? What? And the Vessel of Humankind's Invention, I dare say it might refer to a Pokeball. Are we gonna get to make a Master Ball? Please tell me. We get to make a Master Ball. What about the Stone of Creation's Beginning? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. What are your thoughts, Professor Leventon? Do you have any idea what the stone could be? Upon my word, perhaps I do. Could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdeer and the others? Sure. Take. Just as I remembered, here on the back of the Earth plate, it says when the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. Is it a puzzle? We put them together? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, and he said he's been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, Volo's, that Volo fellows come around the Diamond Settlement asking about this place before, too. Seems like a lead worth following. It's decided, then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's Beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say perhaps we call it Origin or Sure. Iridon, may we ask for your fan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Leanne to the summit camp at once. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. No. Now, Adamant, I see the, all these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with, but what a great Melly. Where is my role in all this? Stay out of the way! <laughs> I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? <laughs> Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamant, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. <laughs> All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. <laughs> oh, Adamin, you silly foolish boy. Do you understand nothing? Everyone has work they are suited for and work they are not. Are you telling me you're not suited to be a warden then? And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all. God's team grunt. Well done, you. Ah, oh, I hate Melly. Uh, take this as a reward for your adorable efforts, just by way of encouraging the little people. You're all so little compared to me. Candy truffles? He literally gave me candy. I brought Leon. Thank you. Please, can we make Melly go away? Yeesh. Oh my gosh. Who's one consulted for my wisdom? You don't have wisdom! Um, Hisui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first to be consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in battle, with that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree! Shall I prove it to you now? Uh, Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Pan for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adamant! Such a fucking whiny bitch. Oh my god, I hate him. <laughs> Everyone back home is all worked up about the fact that you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh, or Mighty Dialga, or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud. Or you could just shut the fuck up. Uh, Ward Lillian, if you would. Certainly. Uh, then let us set out at once. We make for the primeval grotto.